Hello, and welcome back to Lifeless Planet. This time, we continue jumping across basalt columns and trying not to get stabbed in the heart by plants. What? Oh jeez. Saw one of those before. I think it killed my buddy. Let's not get caught by it. Running around... Following an annoying... Path. Oh, all right, it blew away. The Badlands. How did we get down here? Well, whatever, let's keep going. That's a shiny. Oh, it's an oxygen thing. New objective, low on oxygen. I gotta find oxygen. Yeah, it's right over here. The oxygen mechanic seems a little bit inconsistent to me, which is unfortunate. Like... We went a really long time without needing any. And I expect that we will again. But, whatever. Estimated eight hours remaining. I guess, I guess... It wasn't anywhere near eight hours, but I guess... That does mean you can go a long time. Hmm. Some kind of stone ring? An old Stargate, perhaps? Where are you, SG-1? I need your help. God, that was a good show. And movie. If you haven't seen them, you should. And footprints again. I've picked up her tracks again. It's time for some answers. Alright, it's time for some answers then. Setting aside the mystery of how she's able to survive out here, I still don't know if I can trust her. Her trail appears to lead me away from dangers, but maybe that's just because she's looking out for herself. One thing is certain, she doesn't want me following her, and that's exactly why I have to follow. It's time for some answers. Well, let's go get some then. While avoiding being stabbed by the plant life. Very important to do. There she is. Answer some questions. Whoa, harpy. Not sure what's going on with that. Now I am pretty sure that that means go to hell. Because Diablo is you know, devil, and then idiot I do know is go. So yeah, very friendly. I'm sure we'll get along. Tiny little rock bridges. And this is about where she was. I was over there, she was up here. Yep, cool. Following the leader, the leader. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm pushing the rock. Alright, continuing onwards. Hmm, there she is. Going towards that place. It's down there. Not a lot. Don't fall. Well, let's go give her a visit. And I didn't quite make it. Darn. Well, I'm not going that way, because I just said that I would probably die if I fell over there. So it wouldn't be my smartest move. Honestly, though, probably not my stupidest, either. Alright, a button. I need to find a way to turn this on. It's not powered. Restore power. Okay. Lots of setbacks to production today. Or, lately. We've installed a new crane on top of the supply building. Well, I should say we installed an old crane. This thing is a piece of junk. However, we managed to hook up a power source and get it running long enough to hoist a load of supplies up for safekeeping overnight. I sure hope the scientists find a cure soon. 
it's not really clear what cure they need. Some kind of plague, perhaps. Alien plague. That's a... That's a thing, right? Oh man, what if that's why she wants us to, uh... Not follow her if she's, like, a carrier of some disease. And, like, she's the lone survivor? God, that would be horrible. Like, I don't think I could handle that. Then again, why is she still alive? Because I doubt we're gonna achieve light speed. Uh, before anyone who is alive during the Soviet era is dead. Alright. I like how he just picked that up, but then we have to use the mechanical arm to put it in. <laughs> That's consistent. Okay. Power. Glowy power lines. Very safe. And collapsing rock. There goes our way back. On the bright side. Jetpack fuel. Extended boost mode is back. Now I had a hell of a lot of trouble with this, and I learned something. Turns out, when you start moving, it takes a second to speed up. You do need a an actual running start if you intend to get very far. Which is pretty neat. Like, that's kind of realistic. It's a strange design choice, but I... Oh, come on. I had that. It's a strange design choice, but I do like it. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, see? That time I had it easily. Ah, uh, slightly annoying. Not a huge problem, though. Alright. Continuing onwards. Let's get up there. Now, like I said, don't start too close to the edge. Or I won't be going fast enough to make it. But as long as I've got a run up, I seem to do just fine. I <laughs> almost sailed right over it that time. Okay. And the jetpack fuel is gone. I think they just don't want me flying about. Which is a shame, because it's tons of fun. Like he said before, though, not exactly meant to operate, uh... in gravity. So that's where we were. We've just come all the way around. Alright. And now we've got a Stargate of some sort. Use the mechanical arm. And push everything into place. That's fancy. Hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't warp us anywhere, which would just be really, really cool. All it did was clear a path. Useful and flashy, but not as flashy as I'd like. Everyone wants a teleporter. Unfortunately, all we have is faster than light travel. Shame. Yeah, and we don't actually even have that anymore since we crashed. So all we've got is a robotic arm powered by green. Powered by that color green. Oh geez, jumped right over it. Let's bring that back down.
There we are. There it is. Perfect. That is more of the death root stuff, so let's go around the side and dodge it. We don't need you. Alright, let's go get her. Ask some questions, get some you answers. Were alone, though, right? I am told you were once married. Yes, that's right, years ago. But then your wife turned up missing one day. Well, friends thought maybe she had just run off, but But you knew other Wait ways. a minute. Yes, ma'am, and I went looking for her. Wait a I minute. For her day and night. No. Well, all right, maybe not. I was thinking she was my wife and we were about to find that out. God, how would that be for a plot twist? What did her shirt say though? 00612? Hmm. Now, it would make sense to cut the episode here, but it has been a little bit short, only about 12 minutes, so let's just keep going. Nightfall, a new chapter. Hmm. What are those? Oh, jeez. Uh-huh. Well, doesn't seem terribly dangerous. As long as it... Shit. Don't get in the way of those. Let's not get in the way of those. They're quite loud. But only at the last second, so not best warning device. That's a lot of them over there. That doesn't seem like the right way to go. Yeah, no. Alright, uh, hey, it's this way. Text. After these creatures strike, they become safe to interact with. I've encountered a new species of the deadly life form that took the lives of my companions. This one is much bigger and lunges when I stand nearby but it also becomes harmless a moment after it strikes. Touching or standing on the creature is no longer deadly, as if they use all their energy in the attack. I may be able to use this attribute to my advantage. Cool. So let's just walk straight up it. Convenient. Alrighty. tum dee tum Ooh, spotlight of some sort. Definitely not a reflection. What could that be? The moon? It's a little bit bright for the moon. Mm hmm. That's not the right way. Maybe I have to climb these. Yeah, it looks like I do. A little bit hard to see what I'm doing in absolute blackness. Alright. Wait for it to turn black. And then let's be on our way. Puzzles. Solving them like a boss. Get out of here. Alright, so we have to climb the rock, not jump across. I guess that kind of makes sense. This flashlight is not exactly optimal. Oh! Oh, that... Oh, alright, it's not an abyss. I thought it was. See? Like, it's just terribly hard to see. Oh, jeez. Alright. Yeah, those are hard to see. Let's let these fire. Yeah. Cool. Made it through. Um. Hmm. 
that light is gone. Not sure what it was. Well, it's saved here, and we just hit 15 minutes, so I guess this is as... No, oh, no, there it is. Hmm. I guess this is as good a place as any to end the episode. So I will see you guys next time on Lifeless Planet.